What is going on guys? Today I have something super special for you, but to back things up, my name is Triz. I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys love Call of Duty mobile content and you guys want more of it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Just destroy the sub button. Become an OG subscriber of my channel. Obviously, we're, we're a small channel, of course, but I'm trying to grow it to be bigger. So if you guys are not ready, make sure you guys subscribe and tell a friend about my channel, especially if they are into Call of Duty Mobile. Also, too, drop a like on this video. Every like does help out a lot. Is it possible? Can we get maybe two likes on the video? If we get two likes on the video, I might have to do a face reveal. I'm not sure, guys, but anyways, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a Call of Duty a mobile Q&A. I asked you guys, my subscribers, my viewers, in my community post to actually go ahead and post a, uh, a question you guys had about whether it could be the global release, um, just the game in general, types of specific stuff you guys are, I guess, have questions about Call of Duty Mobile. I'm going to be answering everything um, or most things you guys asked in the comment section of that. So, like I said, if you guys have any other questions, if your question is not answered by the end of this video, make sure you guys comment your question in the comment section. But make sure you guys watch the video because if someone already asked the question in this video, Try not to repeat it, you know, like, so make sure you guys pay attention and you guys don't repeat a question because obviously I'm only going to be answering, like, new types of questions and stuff like that. So, and I'm going to try answering as many questions as possible in this video and, uh, and get straight to the point with it. So, anyways, let's get into the video. The first question comes from Sniper Pro Cod Mobile. He asks, will there be other exclusive game modes like Infection and Prop Hunt? So, I believe there's going to be, um, as of right now, the only, like, exclusive game modes we have which is kind of weird, it's hardpoint, free-for-all, they're kind of like LTMs, limited time game modes. Um, Epic Games or Fortnite has that type of deal where it's only available for a certain amount of days. And personally, with that being said, there is 100% going to be different type of exclusive game modes like Infected Mode, as well as Prop Hunt. Um, maybe even some type of like 2v2, uh, like Alpha, how they tested like the gun fight or whatever it was called, the dog fight. I forgot what they called it in Modern Warfare. But I'm assuming there's going to be some type of exclusive game modes like Infected and Prop Hunt. They won't come when the game gets released globally, but I can probably expect these things to actually happen uh, sometime between maybe like November, January. I don't know, somewhere, somewhere around there. Obviously, they need to actually get the core mechanics down first and these like exclusive game modes first, and then they'll release the infected modes and the prop hunt. The next question is, is COD supported with all devices? I'm gonna get to this point of this one as well too. If you guys have a modern day smartphone, like a smartphone that was probably released in the last two to three years, 100% is going to be supported. Um, if you guys have an older touch device, smartphone device, it's gonna be a little bit shaky. You're gonna have to test it out on, your, on yourself, but, it's from the same makers of PUBG Mobile, so if your game or your device is able to run PUBG Mobile, pretty much assume that you're able to actually run Call of Duty Mobile on the same device as well too, because it's like about the same game engine. So if you can test run and run PUBG Mobile on your phone, you guys will be able to actually support it on Call of Duty Mobile. Ah yes, the next big question from Brave Guide YouTube says, will it have controller support or Bluetooth. Listen very carefully because this is by far one of the most asked questions I've been seeing on YouTube. Bluetooth controllers is not supported. You're not able to use a Bluetooth controller on Android or on your iOS device. Even with iOS 13, I know the big kicker with iOS 13 is you're able to actually connect an Xbox or PlayStation controller. You might be able to do it for the short term, but I've known people that actually got their accounts banned on Call of Duty Mobile because they tried using a Bluetooth controller. Maybe you're successful for the first couple of days trying it, but I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they've been getting banned and Tencent does not support Bluetooth controls. If you guys do use a Bluetooth controller, you guys will obviously have a potential chance of getting your account banned, but you will instantly get put into a different lobby as well too, meaning that you're going to be playing with like instant hackers and people that play on their computer using a mouse and keyboard. So is it worth it? No, I don't want you guys to get your accounts banned like some other people's had their accounts banned before. But there is an alternative. As you guys have seen on my video, I actually partnered up with Mobile Claw. So I'll put a link down below if you guys want to get a legal controller device. If you guys want to play Call of Duty Mobile with a controller, 
honestly, I recommend the Mobile Claw. Like I said, I'll put a link down below. Go ahead and check it out. I've been using it. I have a full tutorial for setup. All my settings you guys can use. And personally, I recommend using the Mobile Claw. A lot of people think it's like cheating or whatever or hacking. Honestly, dude, if it's it's a it's a perfect device. You know, if you guys are going to be using it and you guys want to play Call of Duty Mobile with a controller experience, the Mobile Claw is your next best experience, and you guys will not be getting banned or anything like that. So, highly recommend you guys get a Mobile Claw. Also, too, I have teamed up with them, and if you guys can use my I don't know, little support creator tag Triz, you guys can actually help me out too by using it. The next question is from Just Not Right. He asks, "How big do you think COD is going to be once it's released global?" Please keep doing the great work, dude. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love, man. Uh, so to answer your question, and I'm make it really short and to the point, Call of Duty Mobile is going to be massive. PUBG Mobile is huge. If you guys don't know, PUBG Mobile is like super, super big. It's one of the most popular games in the world. In North America, it's not that popular, and that's where Call of Duty Mobile is going to be coming in. And I honestly think it's going to be really, really big. So I'm really excited for it, but it's going to be massive. And that's one of the reasons why they've been taking so much time releasing it globally is because they want to make sure that everything is, I guess, working properly. Lots of uh, like bugs fixed before global launch because they want to make this thing as big as possible. The next question is from Zach Divine. He says, will the game be pay to play? Yes and no. A lot of people are very afraid that it's going to be pay to play. It's going to be a free game, obviously, so they're going to have to monetize it somewhere. Um, but there's like some types of guns you can actually pick up and they have some abilities that are a little better than like the default versions of the guns But personally in my honest opinion, it's not gonna be too drastic And if you guys play ranked, I believe they're gonna try fixing it So everyone has the same type of ability on their gun But it's, it's not gonna be like a pay to win type of thing where I mean if you guys do have a gun that or someone has a gun That's a lot better than someone else's then, I mean, it's it's not going to be super drastic, where you're still going to have to have better gun skill, better strategy, of course, in the game, and it's going to be a lot clearer. Like, it's not going to be like if someone buys, uh, like, the best gun, everyone's not going to have a chance. No, that's not true. Everyone will still have a pretty even playing field. So, to answer your question, it's not going to be super drastic. It's not going to be like a pay-to-win type of game. Next question is from the one S player YouTube. He says, what VPNs do you need to use besides Proton? Honestly, dude, I would recommend Proton. It is kind of a pain in the butt to keep using different types of, uh, or you have to keep using like free trials every seven days. But to be completely honest, dude, I think Proton is my favorite VPN and I don't recommend anything else besides that. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. So I recommend Proton. Some people use UFO, but people have been banned using UFO too. So Proton has been working great for me. And just keep using the free trial every seven days to get a new email and sign up for that. Next question, when did you start playing Call of Duty Mobile? I started playing it November of 2018, so a little bit less than a year ago. Meme Lord says, do you think that the sniper rifle is too OP? Right now, I do believe so. A lot of people have been using it in rank mode. I use it a lot in rank mode too. They're probably going to be nerfing it a little bit more. But I think, I mean, it's a lot of fun using the sniper, so I'm not complaining too much. Drake says, what is the best loadout for beginners? There's a lot of different guns. Honestly, I would just recommend using the PDW. I recommend using a submachine gun. If you're just starting out with Call of Duty Mobile, I think it's important for you to kind of understand the different recoil patterns. I'm going to make a video specifically for beginners, some tips and tricks for you guys. But I would recommend getting a submachine gun, learning the recoil patterns, and just being aggressive and learning the maps first. If you guys aren't familiar with the maps, get familiar with the maps. But a good idea for a video, I'll definitely be doing some tips and tricks for beginners. Nessie says, will you create a team for COD Mobile? Technically, I'm actually on a team. I haven't really revealed it on this channel yet. Uh, but if you guys have known me, I'm actually on a team right now. And uh, But for like, competitive-wise, um, we'll have to see, man. Um, I know there's been a lot of people like talking about teams and competitive teams and stuff like that. I have a lot of reasons why I would, would not play competitively on this game. I'm all for competitive, but uh, I'll, I'll make a separate video for that just to share with you guys my thoughts and opinions 
on me making a competitive team for Call of Duty Mobile. Random says, can you do a sniper montage? If that's something you guys want me to make a montage for, yeah, I'd be 100% down for a sniper montage. Dragoodun777 says, do you know if any World at War or World War 1 slash 2 guns are going to be added into the game? So, the game itself is pretty modern, if you guys have been seeing some gameplay on it. However, though, there is going to be, like, the Zombies game mode. There is some types of, like, World War 2 guns, I believe, like, some pistols and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. There's also a MP40 looking gun in the game as well, too. So, um, yeah, so there is, like, a version of the World War 1, World War 2 guns, but it's not, like, like the entire game is probably not gonna have, like, the, the World War guns. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. We're gonna have to wait and see. Right now, I mean, they ha kind of have, like, a spoof version of it, but I'm sure they're gonna be adding some type of World War guns. Maybe, like, a Tommy gun or something like that. Just Star says, do you think that the developers are going to add more attachments of guns? Absolutely, man. Uh, the game is just... I guess starting out, you know, there's gonna be a lot of DLC, a lot of important things being added to the game to keep the game alive, of course. So there's 100% gonna be more guns and attachments being added to the game. What is your favorite gun in COD Mobile? By the way, love your dude, typical Jelly Brand. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that, man. So my favorite gun right now is like, kind of like the basic sniper. I forgot the name of it. It's kind of like an intervention. That's my all-time favorite gun. It's a lot of fun just to go around and just start picking off people left and right. I mean, I, I think I'm a decent sniper. I'm, I'm not saying I'm like the best sniper, but I mean, for the time I've been playing, I've been really enjoying the sniper. And of course, when do you estimate COD Mobile will come out? Well, this is a great question that honestly, I really want to spend a little bit more time on but unfortunately, you know, I, I just wanted to like give you guys the facts. The game is going to be dropping when they believe it's ready. This is going to be one of the biggest games to ever release on mobile. And they need to make sure this game is 100% good. Because if they release a crappy version of the game and it's not its full potential, people are going to uninstall the game and people are going to leave the community. They want as many people in the community as possible, including myself. So I think it's super important for them to take their time and really get the game right before they release anything so obviously it's already in Canada it's already in Australia there is a lot of bugs in the game already and I mean honestly every single time they do update it the game feels so much better and personally I'm 100% down to wait a little bit more maybe an extra week or so just because I want them to get the game down exclusively, like, really, really good. So, anyways, though, I want to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts and opinions on this. Um, let me know if you guys have any other questions. Of course, there's also, I mean, the, a new month is coming up. It's going to be September already. So, there's most likely going to be a new region added. Um, will it be America? Will it be the UK? Will it be both? Wait and see, guys. I have some more exclusive news and videos for you guys regarding Call of Duty Mobile. So, anyways, like I said before, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Call of Duty Mobile related, make sure you guys keep an eye on my channel. Subscribe if you guys are new around here and ask me questions, guys. Seriously, I'm 100% down to answer all your questions as I can. You know, obviously, I'm only one person and I'm kind of just doing this for fun, of course. But if you guys have any questions regarding Call of Duty Mobile, feel free to ask away in the comments section or tweet me, Instagram me, let me know, guys. Uh, but also, to you guys, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I do have an Instagram account, and um, I'm actually going to be following some of you guys that actually follow me from YouTube. So if you guys have a YouTube, or if you guys have Instagram, make sure you guys follow me down below. There's a link, and uh, check that out. And once again, shout out to Mobile Claw. If you guys are interested in picking up a Call of Duty mobile controller, make sure you guys go ahead and check out a Mobile Claw controller device. And, um, and yeah. They're awesome, guys. But thank you so much for Mobile Claw for partnering with me and, and allowing me to make some awesome, awesome gameplay using their controllers. So we'll catch you guys in another video. Have an awesome rest of your day and weekend. I think I'm going to have another video tomorrow. I have some, actually, some awesome news. But I want to do, like, one of my first ever Q&As today and uh, allow you guys to just let me know if you guys have any other questions. Because I'll try to do a QA and a if you guys enjoyed this one and another video. But until then, I'm going to have some more gameplay, some Let's Plays. I know a lot of you guys want me to do some Call of Duty Mobile Let's Plays, of course. And I'm 100% down for that as well, too. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Stay awesome. We'll take it easy, guys. Peace out.